Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the XOR instruction in assembly. So XOR, very similar to the OR instruction, it acts on a binary level. You can specify numbers directly, they could be in hexadecimal form or in binary form. The principle is the same, you guess the binary equivalent of it. If you don't specify the binary, you know, directly, and it will do the operation on there. And then let's quickly go over what the XOR does. I recommend that you check out the AND instruction and the OR instruction videos because a lot of this will feel right at home if you understand those videos. Okay, so what we have is this little, let me get rid of this number here, just in binary. So we have 10 and we have 3. If we do the OR instruction, OR basically determines it's a 1 if any one of the bits are on so this will be zero this is one and then we get a total of 11 but with xor it stands for exclusive or so what that means is if it's two zeros then that's going to be a zero if it's a zero and a one that's one but if it's two ones it can only be exclusive only so only one at any given time can be on so this will actually just result in zero this will result in one so only one of them is on so this will give us nine so if we basically do an xor operation on this so if we say um, let's move into the esp register the number what number is it 10 and 3 to 10 and into the ebp register i'm going to move three and then to do the operation, we do XOR, ESP, EBP. We specify the two you know, locations. The second operand does not have to be a register or a variable. It could just be a value directly. The first does because it will actually get overwritten with the result, which should be 9. So what we'll do is we'll print out the length of or we'll use the length based on this calculation so we should only print out nine characters from hello world so there we go we have one two three four five remember space is a character six seven eight and nine so that's literally all you need to know regarding exclusive or instructions if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.